All right. <clears throat> so problem 29, we have this uh, data here. And we had to test, uh, we're testing golf tees, and we had to do a test for the initial velocity. Um, so the ball velocity is the middle, middle deal, okay? So apparently there were six balls hit off of each tee, and that's our sample. All right, so we take that data, and here's basically what we have from that chart. There's the mean for the stinger T, the standard deviation for the velocity, and the N, and then the mean velocity of the regular T, the standard deviation, and the N value. So the parameter mu of S is the mean ball velocity of a ball hit off a stinger T. And then mu of R is going to be the mean ball velocity of a ball hit off a regular T. Okay? Hypothesis. H of O is mu of R uh, I'm sorry, mu of S equals mu of R. And the question is, is there evidence that the stinger T would have a higher velocity? So the uh, H of A is going to be mu of S is greater than mu of R. So it's a one tail test. Okay. Uh, assumptions and conditions. Um, Okay, so this is a random sample. Uh, six is less than 10% in both cases. And <coughs> these are independent samples. And the last thing is we <coughs> we don't know what the normal deal is, right? This is a small sample. So we're going to assume that these are both normally distributed. Unfortunately, we cannot we cannot use the central limit theorem here because n does not equal at least 40. So we just got to make that assumption. This is a 2 sample t-test. Test statistics and parameters, we have everything up here. The only thing we got to figure out is what's degrees of freedom. We got to obtain p. So we're going to do 128.83 minus 127 over the square root of 0.41 squared over 6 plus 0.89 squared over 6 and that's going to equal two t with certain degrees of freedom. So let's go to the calculator. So we're going to go to stat test to sample t test. We're going to put in statistics this time. So x of 1 is 128.83 standard deviations 0.41 n is 6. Now for the regular t the mean is 127 Standard deviation is 0.89 and n is 6 again. Okay, we want to see that the stinger t is greater than. It's not pulled, and we want to draw. <coughs> so there is our deal. It gets drawn up, and look at that. T is 4.57. P value of 0 0.0013. So we draw that up. Uh, T is 4.57. Let me pull that in a little bit more. Uh, sure. There you go. Big p value of 0 0.0013. Last thing we had to do is get our degrees of freedom. So we're just going to go to stat test, two sample t test. Got everything in there. 
this time we'll calculate degrees of freedom 7.03 okay so degrees of freedom equals 7.03 and make the decision so we reject H sub O at the 0.05 level and our conclusion there is strong evidence that the initial the average initial ball velocity of a ball hit off a stinger tee is greater than a ball hit off a regular tee. Okay. <clears throat> now, that would basically answer our question. Okay.